all about putting smiles on faces at Cardiff City, especially at this time of year. Today we were joined by a very special guest who's arguably one of our biggest and most loyal supporters, and that's 11-year-old Curtis Fisher. Curtis has been desperate to come on in the city. Today he sat down with Sean Morrison with a few questions of his own. Let's see what he had to ask the skipper. Do you have any lucky routines or chums before matches? No, I've not got any superstitions or anything like that, but um, I guess I've got a routine as such. I kind of, I eat the same stuff in the morning, I eat the same stuff before uh, the game pre-match and I kind of do the sim similar stuff, but nothing, nothing too superstitious. So I don't go on the pitch worrying about something I've missed out doing. This is a bit embarrassing for you. Have you had any funny moments playing football? Funny moments playing football? Um, yeah, there's. I guess there must have been a few. Um, I've, I've fallen over in a warm up before in front of away fans, and <laughs> so yeah, that's funny. Yeah, not well for them, not for me. <laughs> well, did you get a lot of stick after that? What happened then? Uh, they just laughed at me and said a lot of mean things. <laughs> like, like swear words. Yeah, maybe swear words. Yeah. <laughs> in your opinion, who's the best footballer of all time? Not just for Cardiff, of all time. It's got to be Lionel Messi, I think. Obviously, Ronaldo's incredible, but I think as a natural footballer, I think Lionel Messi's the one. Me and you will get on very well then, Sean. I hate Ronaldo. He's so big headed and he, all he thinks about is himself. But, but I'm a big Gaff Bale fan. Yeah. This might be a bit personal. Who do you get on best with at Cardiff City? It's a hard question because there's a lot of lads there that I get on really well with. I'd have to, I'd have to give you maybe like five names, but go ahead. Um, the likes of Rousey, Pelts, Pilks, Nooney. Um, they're very close friends of mine and people that I'll still be friends with after football as well. Even if they move on to different clubs. If they move on to different clubs, 100%. Even if you move on. Even if I move on, but I'm not moving on anywhere yet. Yeah. What do you do in your leisure time apart from playing football? Because I know, because I know that Matthew Connolly goes bowling. Because I saw him bowling with Fabio. That's another big miss that we lost to a Premiership club. But what would you do in your spare time? Spare time. So in the summer, I like to play a lot of golf. Um, obviously, I don't play in the winter because it's way too cold and wet for me. So um, I like to go cinema. I like to watch films. Yeah. You don't like the cinema? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll move on quickly. What do you consider? What What do you consider is your best football moment and why? Uh, it doesn't have to be for Cardiff. It can be yeah. at any club. Um, when I was at Huddersfield, I went on loan for six months, and we got promoted to the Championship um, in the playoff final. We won on penalties. Yep against Sheffield United, so it was a big Yorkshire derby and yeah. um, every player took a penalty. There was 22 penalties taken and uh, their goalkeeper missed. Did you miss yours? I scored mine. I think you may have missed. I it. definitely scored. Uh, who was your football idol when you were my age? Like, who was like the big name? Yeah. Um, I would probably say someone like Sol Campbell or Tony Adams. I was. Uh, I supported Arsenal when I was a kid. Um, yeah, I, I don't like Arsenal. No, <laughs> we're not going to get on as well as we thought, guys. <laughs> my, my, my second favorite club is Man United. Man United. No. <laughs> so yeah, um, there's a lot of centre halves that played for Arsenal and uh, in the Premiership that were that I used to look up to and used to idolise. Yeah. If you weren't a footballer, what job would you like to do? Which job do you think you would be doing right now if you didn't get a professional football? What, what would you be doing at this very moment in time? Oh, at this very moment in time? Well, not uh, this very moment. <laughs> you, you know what I mean, Sean. What, what job would you have today? Um, that's a hard question because all I ever wanted to do was play football. But um, I think I might have maybe a policeman or... Either a policeman or a physiotherapist, maybe. I was very interested in the human body when I was in school, so um, maybe physiotherapy or maybe if I could have been a policeman, yeah. Thank you for your time, Sean. Thank you, Kurt. And, and thank you, Amy, for inviting me on the show. Thanks for getting involved. Thanks.